Hi, I'm Stephen Mann. It's all about tips and tricks, painting in watercolour. You'll be hearing quite a few tips and tricks down the track. Today, I'm going to show you one tip and trick. Have you ever painted a watercolour and you've come across little lines or showing up in the sky? I have, I know that. Um, when you've painted a quite few of them, you get to find out where the lines are coming from and everything else like that. What I want to do to show you today on this watercolour sheet, a little bit of sample here, is where them dark lines are coming from. A lot of people don't know that you can spoil a good painting by not uh, doing the right thing by your watercolour. What I'm going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to show you a little sample on this paper where them lines are coming from. I'm going to do a little wash here, like this. I'm not going to do any landscape or anything. I'm just going to show you where the lines come from on this uh, particular item. When you're painting, you're painting in watercolour. And you're washing a little bit of skying or whatever you're doing, like that. across your little bit of landscape at the bottom. I'm painting this sideways so you'll have to excuse my anatomy of things. Now when that dries, it's only a little bit of a nothingness really, we're just demonstrating. When it dries, sometimes people get a nice painting and see it spoiled by little lines appearing in the watercolour and I just created the lines on purpose just so I can show you uh, where the lines are coming from so when it dries a little bit I'll show you where, uh, where the lines are I've, um, I'll show you now while we're waiting for it to dry when you get your brush it might be one of these brushes for a wash brush. You see that metal rim around there? Well, when, you hit the, when you're washing it to start your painting, if you get that metal rim and just touch your paper like that as you're washing it, just a little touch like that with the paper, you'll see a line up, up appear. You can see the lines appearing there. Can the camera pick that up? You can see the lines the dark lines appearing in the sky just there can you see those lines now they're going to spoil a good painting I'll have to bring the landscape up and alter the landscape if I wanted to get rid of those lines and, I'd, and if I, the darker I go sometimes you can never get rid of those lines and that's all come from this metal rim you can use any brush you like that brush, that brush, this one. And when you're painting and you hold your brush sideways, you've only got to get that little scorer, that little rim, metal rim, and touch the paper like that, and you'll get those lines coming in. And you, you, you might have a good painting, but a damaged painting. Especially if you're going that way with something, and you make a line that way, you've only got to hit the side of it just by washing it in. The very important thing about painting in watercolours at first is when you're washing in is to keep that metal rim and don't push your brush on too hard because if you do you're going to score your paper and you're going to get these odd lines appearing and they're very hard to get rid of you can't wash them out you can't do nothing with them it's, it's, it's just intense channeling what you've scored your paper with this metal rim and you scored your paper and all the pigment in the watercolour is as it's drying it's going into that hard surface that, like a little channel what you've caused and as these are drying off they get even worse they get 
get even worse as they're drying off. If you can see those scoring marks. Now that looks, that, that'll look terrible on a nice gentle soft painting. That'll look terrible when it dries. So there's my first tip for today ladies and gentlemen is to keep the metal rims away from the paper when you're washing in. And when you're painting on, if you're using a round brush or something, don't hold the brush sideways and score it with a metal rim that way. Always hold the brush like that if you're washing, hold the brush there. Be very gentle with watercolour and do not get that metal rim touching the paper. Because that's what will happen. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and better painting. And there'll be another tip next week on watercolours and our, our people can mess it up again and there'll be another trick how not to ruin a good painting and this is from Stephen Mann and I hope them people that didn't know about that will benefit from it thank you very much thank you